100 animals rescued from bad living conditions, rescued actually a second time from a place that was supposed to be their sanctuary. The animals were found starving, manged and filthy. Dozens were found dead at the Animal Rescue Sanctuary in Port St. Lucie. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie is joining us tonight from Port St. Lucie with more on this story you'll see only on 5. Rochelle? Well, Jim and Kelly, the investigation into the death of those dogs that were found in the back of this property is still underway, so they don't know right now if it's actually uh, connected to anything that has to do with the current investigation. Now, they say this investigation could go on for more than a week. About 120 dogs and 10 cats were found. Now, the woman who used to work there before this property was turned over to its current owner said she volunteered this weekend to try and help clean it up, but she says it was too far gone. Out, they were in very bad conditions. Jay Apostello says this piece of property used to be home to dogs and cats forever until it got turned over to the current owner, Paulina Dorsey. We left there December 1st or 2nd. Apostello says she never thought the place would turn into the scene of an investigation, but after she saw what she did on Saturday, she isn't surprised. It's horrible. Animals should not be treated that way. It was the most horrible, filthy place. The investigation kicked off after Epicella was asked to help clean up Sanctuary Animal Rescue on Carlton Road. She says she was angered by what she saw and got into an argument with the owner. The sheriff's department was called out and turned their attention to the animals and called animal control out to investigate. There's some that are thin. There's some that have mange. The cages haven't been cleaned in we don't know how long. Some of them had, hadn't had food or water. We don't know how long. Our cameras were not allowed past the iron fence, and no animals could be seen being taken out. Animal Control says it could be a while before all the animals are removed. Karen Taylor with Animal Control says only two employees were taking care of more than 100 animals. She says if it weren't for them, this sanctuary could have become a morgue. But if it wasn't for the two people that stayed here and worked here, probably a lot of these animals would be dead today. Apicella says she was able to rescue 10 dogs from the property, but says she can't forget the ones she had no choice but to leave behind. She says it's sad to think a place that rescued animals is now having the animals rescued from them. And they have to police it. I've been saying for years with our rescue people, police the rescues. Watch where they go. Just don't give them any. And we're told this investigation will continue tomorrow morning. Live in Port St. Lucie, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.